everyone, so in today's video we're talking about blemishes, breakouts, redness and under eye bags. So not the funnest topics but we all suffer from these and I know that I definitely don't have perfect skin and I know that a lot of YouTubers like to kind of use very um, harsh lighting and clever camera angles and heavy coverage foundation to make their skin look totally flawless when filming and I don't like to do that. I like for you to kind of be able to see what my skin, my skin actually looks like because I don't want anyone to think that I've got really perfect skin because I haven't. My skin isn't the worst ever but it's not perfect by any means I suffer from pigmentation I get a lot of redness I do get the old blemish and just overall I haven't got the most even lovely skin without any makeup on but we do use makeup to make our skin look better and to make ourselves look better and that's what I'm doing in this video I'm going to show you kind of my tips and tricks on how to cover blemishes which I've got a few of at the moment redness under eye bags and all that jazz because it's important to be able to cover the things up that don't make you feel as confident even though you should feel confident no matter what but I like to just kind of be able to make myself look a little bit better when possible and yeah I hope you enjoy this and I won't keep you waiting I'll let you get on to the little tutorial now and I hope you like So as you can see my skin is nowhere near perfect I've got a lot of redness um, quite a few blemishes I've got this one here one here and a little bit of a breakout going on on my chin on here my skin is just kind of not being great so I'm gonna start with the primer and this I find really helps because it helps to kind of make your skin more of a flat canvas um, so this is the cover effects mattifying primer and this has got the added benefit of an anti-acne treatment with it so you're kind of helping to treat your blemishes at the same time so I just like to take a small amount of this and put this all over my face concentrating it onto the problem areas and the problems that you know you're going to need to cover up so really kind of making sure you've smoothed it everywhere and we're going to tackle um, foundation first because that's what I always do I like to put foundation on and then I go in and see what else I need so for foundation I'm going to use bourgeois healthy mix purely because I haven't used this for a really long time and um, you could use something heavier coverage. If I wanted my skin to look totally, totally flawless and I was going somewhere, then I'd probably use the 17 um, Stay Time Foundation. This is really nice. But I'm going to just wear something a little bit lighter today because sometimes I feel like that's also better when you're trying to make your skin um, heal better. So with the Real Techniques Buffing Brush, make sure it's a clean brush as well because you know that's going to help not cause any more breakouts. I like to just kind of make sure I've covered everywhere that needs covering. I don't take it on my forehead. I mention this in every video but no matter how many times I mention it someone gets confused and asks so I just make sure to mention it all the time now because it breaks me out. And then you can see that's already kind of made everything look a little bit better. And then I can just go in on areas that need a little bit of extra help and on the areas that need extra help I just pat it into the skin so kind of tap it in rather than blend it and I know I'm not looking at the camera but I'm looking at the mirror so I know I'm doing a good job and just really take it onto the areas that demand that extra bit of attention so really perfect it all now that's kind of how I'd probably leave my foundation I don't like looking like I'm caked in it and this is just like a nice natural amount for me haven't used this for ages and I've forgotten how much I actually really do like this. And I've got loads of breakouts going on kind of on my brow area. I'm not sure what that is. I think that might have been from when I threaded a couple of days ago. But I'm going to do blemish um, attack first. And I've been using the 17 Stay Time Concealer just because it's a really nice full coverage concealer and it doesn't make it worse. I find if I've got a blemish it tends to kind of make it much worse if I try and conceal it. But this is really nice and it hasn't been doing that. It's just one of those little doe foot applicators. And I will come a little bit closer and just put it onto the affected area. Then with my fingers I like to just kind of pat it in and you have to kind of be quite patient and gentle doing this to get the optimum amount of coverage. So I kind of pat it in with my fingers and then look and see how that looks. So it looks better, you can still see a hint of redness. So I like to do a little bit more and then I might go in with a brush. This is the, not Sedona Lace, what is this, the Zoeva Concealer Buffer. And just kind of tap it into place. You don't want to buff it because it kind of takes away the coverage. But at the same time you don't want it to look too unnatural. And then just take that kind of onto any of the other red bits. 
Then on this lovely breakout I've got going on over the top of my brow, that's more just concealing redness um, rather than a bump. So I will just take that onto the area and just kind of smooth it out. And you can sort of see, you can still see a little bit of redness. So you have to just be patient and kind of build it up. And I find that, you know, no matter what, nothing ever looks totally perfect and concealed. It is a very hard thing to conceal. Redness. And I know a lot of people say use something green toned, it counteracts it. I have tried that. I haven't found personally that it really did much for me. But if that works for you, then by all means do that. I know the colour kind of helps counteract it. But really just concentrate and take your time. There's no kind of quick way to do this and make it look good. And I've got this lovely one right under my brow which really needs a little bit of help. And then what you wanna do is you wanna take a mirror, a really good magnifying mirror, I've got one right here, and look really, really closely at your face. So really look and see if you feel like you need a little bit more concealing, if the redness is too visible. I feel like the redness on this part here is a little bit too much for me. And I might just pat that in with my fingers. The warmth of your fingers does really help, but really make sure your fingers are clean, otherwise you might just be making the matter worse. And that's that. And then right here on my cheek, as I mentioned before, I've got a little bit of something. Just a little bit on the underneath. I find a lot of the time the redness on blemishes does come from the kind of underneath part of the blemish. So if you kind of get it there, a lot of the time that sorts out the problem and you just want to really pat it in. So that's my blemishes done. Nothing I've used helps to cover up the hyperpigmentation that I have here, here and a little bit on my nose. Nothing helps to cover those up so I don't even really bother trying anymore because nothing really does anything. But for under eye concealer, I've tried so many different things. I do get quite dark under my eyes, especially on this area and kind of on the outer corners, I'm sure you can sort of see. And my upper lid is very dark as well, so I tend to look quite tired. But I love the Laura Mercier um, Secret Concealer. This is in shade three, and I use this kind of as a corrector because it's the lovely peach tone. So I like to just get a little bit of this on my finger. And when I say a little, I really do mean a little because it can crease and you don't want to use it all over, just in the areas where you're really, really dark. And then with the same concealer buffer brush, I like to just make sure that's all blended nicely. And if you need a little bit more, you can pull beautiful faces while you're doing it. And that really does help to take away the edge. You can sort of see the difference in the darkness here and the darkness here. But you also need something that's very brightening. And I did have really high hopes for the 17 um, concealer that was supposed to be the dupe for the Benefit concealer. I can't find it at the moment. I don't know where I've put my one. But oh, here it is. The pore paint. But the only thing with this is it's a little bit too light for me. I know it doesn't look that way. But um, you'll see here. It's very light and I feel like it kind of highlights the area too much. So I like to just kind of put this on the top of my eyes because it helps to kind of brighten but it doesn't give you that kind of reversed panda effect. My all time favourite thing for brightening and concealing under the eyes has to be the collection um, concealer. I do do you find it can kind of make your eyes look a little bit dry? The best way to apply this is with fingers and then you can kind of do it with a brush but this is just fantastic. Nothing helps... Um, conceal better than this. A lot of people have been talking about the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, I am going to try that, but I have just gone back to this time and time again, this is about my fourth tube, and I just, be quite generous with it, take it all over, and then with my middle finger, I know that's kind of offensive, not my ring finger, because my ring finger is just too small and it doesn't get the job done, I pat it all over, and it really, really just helps to kind of conceal and brighten everything. And then I like to just kind of get a bit more on the downwards areas where I get very dark and just pat it in. And 
and already you can see a vast improvement between the darkness on this side and the darkness on this side. Now I've always got a little bit of a shadow kind of going under my eyes because of the shape of my eyes because they're quite hooded and this part of my eye is kind of quite puffy. If I go like that you can see here it's really puffy. I really don't like how my eyes do that but um you can see the difference between this and this is pretty shocking. So that's how I do it. I'm going to then go ahead and do the other eye and everything and put the rest of my makeup on. And you really want to make sure you powder. Powdering is key to keep everything in place. But that is how I conceal um, my redness, my spots and my under eye circle. 